As an example uh, of equilibrium in bars under torsion, let's consider a drive shaft uh, that's connected to a motor and it's connected to two gears. And the two gears apply different torque. So the gear on the end applies a torque T1 and the gear in the middle applies a torque T2. So T1 is 100 foot-pounds and T2 is minus 200 foot-pounds. And the length of the overall drive shaft is four feet. And let's find uh, T of Z, assuming the system is in equilibrium. So let's find the internal torque along the length of the bar. So the internal torque at any section cut along the length of the bar. So that's the problem at hand. And so this is an equilibrium equation. The problem happens to be statically determinant, but we'll, we'll see that in a second. And the, the most important thing here we, is to first go ahead and draw a free body diagram of the, of the drive shaft. The drive shaft has the torque T1 and T2 applied to it and it has the torque from the motor. And we're going to find T of Z assuming the system is in equilibrium here. So the first thing I can do is I can do some of the moments about the Z axis and that tells me then that the torque from the motor is minus 100 foot-pounds. So I can go ahead and redraw my picture here. And so minus 100 foot-pounds uh, and notice that I flipped the direction of the arrow here. So I assume T1, TM was positive going to the left, but it turned out to be minus, so I'll draw it going to the right, but with a plus 100 here and not a minus 100. Okay, now when I need, the question asks me to find T of Z, so that means I need to find the internal uh, torque diagram for this system, and the way I can do that is simply by making appropriately located section cuts. So if I make a section cut between the motor and the second torque, I have this free body diagram here, which tells me that T of Z anywhere between the motor and the second torque is going to be minus 100 foot-pounds. So I get a, a constant value from the motor all the way out to L over 2. And to complete the diagram, I can make a section cut to the right of uh, the second torque, and then I get this free body diagram shown here, and I can sum the moments about the Z axis, and I find out that T of Z in this section is equal to 100. So I have my final diagram here, which shows that I have an internal torque that's minus 100 foot-pounds, and then it jumps by an amount 200 up to 100 foot-pounds for the material between the two gears.